Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Dragon, here on Stoneblock 2. So last episode, we went and set up this reactor behind me, as well as worked on getting a computer system set up to access all of our storage systems from one place, and got a few Infinity tools, including the World Breaker here. Now, I have gone and used this thing, and... Um, it's probably best just to show you. It may have gone a little overboard. Fortunately, we have this matter cluster here that... I think... Oh, there we go. That does, in fact, contain everything that got mined out here. Now that I have everything back... Um... I guess we get to repair this? And just like that, we have our floor fixed. Now, I did leave a block off the floor here, so we can put in a pattern. I'm thinking something with sea lanterns, maybe something that'll glow and change colors like the controllers here. And something like a circuit board kind of pattern, maybe? I don't know. That's not what we are getting into. So last time we started working on extreme crafting and we kind of ran into an issue of getting neutronium. Now we did fix that by getting the neutronium seeds over here and those have worked absolutely wonderfully. We have basically all the neutronium we will need, at least for now at this point. But we had started going down the path towards getting the Project E transmutation table. So we're probably not going to end up reaching this today. But I did make myself a set of dark matter armor. And got the materials to upgrade it to red matter. Now we don't have the stuff to upgrade it to gem, but that is okay. We don't do a whole lot of boss fights. And red matter armor should be more than enough for what we do just walking around here. Considering I'm basically walking around in emerald chest plate and slime boots. And just like that, we have the full set. So I guess let's get those equipped. I believe these give a set bonus. Oh, that really covers our entire face. And that deep red does not go with my scales one bit. Oh, 90% of damage, so that'll be very nice. But we are going to be working on this. Now, I do want to get the energy sphere built up at tier 8. That is going to take us a bit, because I do not have the draconium for it yet, I don't think. But we should hopefully get that pretty soon. But this room here is instead going to be for the crafting cores. So basic fusion crafting injection. So we need several fusion crafting injectors facing the fusion crafting core. Provide them with power. Not too difficult. We have a pretty good power source. Love to combine it with the extreme power storage, but we'll get there. So we just need some diamonds, some draconic cores. Draconic ingots, not too difficult. And then we need a few more, and then we need to use those in the fusion crafter, which is lapis, diamonds, and a core. Should be able to deal with that pretty easily. So a quick flip through of the crafting recipes, and it looks like the most we will need for crafting cores is 10 on any side. So let's get those. Now I do have enough stuff here for 20. And the reason for that is we are going to need another one to be able to upgrade these. Because while most of them are in use, we can upgrade the other one. And then we can just swap them out. So, let's get our fusion crafting core. Suppose let's place it in the middle of the room. And then I believe we just put these fusion crafting injectors around it and facing it. The crafting recipe guides show items on both sides of it. So I'm guessing we're going to need about equal numbers on both sides. So I don't know if there's an exact design or anything that we need to do. Because that looks nice. I think the ceiling needs to go up a few blocks though. I would mine up the ceiling with the infinity hammer if I wasn't so worried about 
breaking through our floor. Eh. We can risk it. What the heck? Oh. Oh no. Oh. Okay. We are putting this thing away, and we are not using it. I'll be back once I fi fix my latest folly. At least the terracotta wasn't damaged. Alright, so, we got this room repaired, minus, again, the floor. Because, we might as well stick our energy pipes in, while we have the floor out. And our fusion crafting system here is all functional. Apparently it's not charging. I don't know. I have to play with that. However, I did take a look at our storage and it looks like we actually have enough to build the tier 8 energy cube. Which is what this absolutely massive room is for. Now, if we get out some of our Awakened Draconium here and use our Feral Flare Lantern here as a midpoint to start building this, we need quite a massive sphere. So I'm going to get that built up and then I will be right back when we're ready to turn this thing on. All right, so we have the entire ball that we need for the center of the reactor here built. All we need to do is just put in this one last energy stabilizer. We got valid stabilizers, valid core. Let's activate this thing. So now we should be able to store energy inside of this. This actually looks really cool how there's all these circles with this. So now we need the material to be able to transfer stuff into this, which is these energy pylons. So four draconium, a diamond, two emeralds, the hardest thing on there is the Eye of Ender, and we should have plenty of blaze powder. And so with the Eye of Ender grabbed, let's craft ourselves some of those. Now I believe, I think we can just stick them. It's going to be a wall there, so one will go there. And we'll stick the other one there. These will be for send and receive. So now we just need to connect that into the system we already have. That way energy can be transferred to it. And if I'm reading correctly, we need to stick glass on there to activate it. And I guess that's charging? I can't really tell. I don't really know how to. Nope, I guess not. I guess I'll, I guess I'll have to fiddle with that pylon a bit. So it looks like we now have a big enough energy storage to successfully keep ourselves stored up for now. I think we will put in the pylon here on the other side for a symmetry. Oh, I guess that will have to do. It's actually really pretty. Kind of cool. Anyway, fusion reacting. Leave our first one is to upgrade our crafting injectors here. So we need diamonds, two draconic cores, and a wyvern core. So draconium, draconic cores, and a nether star. Since we got plenty of nether stars now, I kind of do want to fight a wither with this armor just to see how it does. So draconic cores, diamonds. What was the last thing? A block of draconium. We can easily snag that out of our computer system. And with that block obtained, I think we're going to fill these up. I'm just going to set these to a single item mode for now. Just so I don't have to split everything up. Because it seems to take the entire stack if I don't. And now, then we put that in there. And start. That is very, very... Zappy zappy. Much zapping. Ooh. 
is oh and now that one is done so now we just need to go and swap those out and we'll just keep doing that till all of these are upgraded i probably didn't need the extra one since we only need four of the five stations that we have but it's fine we'll probably just put the extra one in storage so for after we get the wyvern ones we need to get wyvern cores and awaken draconium not too bad not too difficult Chaotic Fusion. Chaotic Core Diamond Dragon Egg. Um. Oh. Lovely, that's going to require another storage for the Awakened Cores. And then a Chaos Shard. And we get a Chaos Shard from killing the Chaos Chicken. Chaos Chicken, we toss a Dragon Egg onto our Ender Chicken spawning. Well then, I guess it looks like I need to go find where I stuck the Chicken Stick. I think it's in my Ender Chest. Nope. Not there. Well, I'm going to go find where I stored that. I will probably work on upgrading all of these, probably to the Draconic tier, just because we can get there at least easily. And then I will be back once we're ready to go fight the Chaos Chicken. All right, so we have everything we need for the Chaos Chicken. So, if I'm reading this correctly, we just toss that onto there. And, um, where's our hole? There's a hole. Let's go hide. This is taking quite a bit of time for it to grow up and spawn in. I think right now I'm a little bit more worried about looking at an Enderman accidentally. That egg is getting rather big now. And it's not even halfway done. Oh dear. Well, hopefully this armor, uh, works well. Don't like the amount of green light. Oh, wow, that's even pushing up the roof there. Lovely. Any second now. Ominous. I guess we have to run out into it. Ah. Well, that was instant. Well, I guess 90% damage reduction means absolutely nothing against that boss. Guess we gotta head back to the arena to get our stuff back. You would think that having to go up and back between uh, our base and the end, I would have put in elevators. But no, I still have these ladders. Hopefully we can actually get to our stuff. Otherwise, this is going to be quite a big problem. And we need to defeat 10 of these things? Oh. Apparently we look at Enderman. This is likely going to be quite a long fight. Um. Well. I guess we wait on that? That seems like the best idea. At least until we actually get better weapons. So let's take a look at what we have in the book to do. So we can get better. One of the best armors in the game. How do we craft this? Hmm, we've got most of that. Wyvern energy core. Probably do this. I think I put my extra cores in my storage. Yep. For some reason we don't lose what's up there. 
don't quite understand that, but it's nice. But I guess we will come back to that Chaos Chicken once we actually have better gear. Other thing we could probably do is I believe everything we need to make this, at least the last bits of it, we can finally make now. Yeah, glowstone, dark matter. So we could make ourselves a Project E table, get ourselves the Infinity Sword, and go from there. We could probably also make ourselves a set of Infinity Armor. These do require our gem leggings, which require red matter leggings. But if we had the Project E table, we could get infinite of those. So I think if we really want to go defeat the Chaos Chicken now, that's the best route at which to approach it. So let's start working on this. First thing we need to do is clean out the extreme crafting table because I've been using it to store the singularities. And then let's take a quick look at what we need here. So we need four dragon eggs and I've got all the essence to make those. So four dragon eggs, 12 neutronium ingots, four storage upgrades, fives. Neutronium ingots we can grab and storage upgrade fives. I think if I don't have any in here, I have two in here. Thought I had some down here, just in storage. Probably don't. But I might actually be all the way downstairs. Oh, ender crystals. We need those too. I saw for the cubits. Yeah, if I have any of those, they're downstairs. So I'm going to go grab those and some more of the stuff we need. All right, so I've also grabbed the 8 Night Slime and the 12 Dark Matter that we need. So now we just need Cubic Crystals, Alchemical Chests, an Energy Condenser, and the Energy Collector Mark II. So, Alchemical Chest. I know we went and got all those energy condensers we need alchemical chest for. So we need, we need those. Five of each of our covalence dusts, 10 stone, five diamond lattice, diamond chests, which we've already made a few for our mob farm storage, and they aren't that difficult to make. So all these pieces should come together pretty quick. All right, and with this last little bit of crafting, that should be the last item we need for the transmutation table. So now let's go craft that up. So transfer all of that, and there we go. So now if I'm not mistaken, once we place this down, we can get just about any item that we want, if it's known by the table. I guess we can stick it there. So now we need to get Items, I guess. So I know we're going to need a bunch of red matter. So I believe we stick this in here somewhere. Okay, so now it's learned. Now we need to make a bunch of EMC. It says get the maximum amount tip balanced clay. How do we make balanced clay? Oh, we need chaos shot. Well, that doesn't exactly work. So I guess we'll have to work with the infinity that we have because we have plenty of it. We can easily get more and it, and it has the most EMC of anything that we have here. I have no clue how this thing actually is supposed to work. Let's see, let's grab that back. And, oh, looks like I managed to get them in there. We've got some EMC now. Okay, that's a good start. So now we can use that EMC to copy the items that we need the most, like say nether stars, or the blocks that we need for the last remaining singularities. So I guess I'm going to play around with this table a bit, probably 
finish getting the singularities and also try and get the draconic armor or go after full infinity gear i haven't quite decided which one i want to do yet but we're definitely getting this sword now that we can basically copy all of these i think we are good to go so I guess I'll be back with you once we are ready to go after that chaos chicken again. Alright, after quite a bit of work, we finally have all of the stuff for the Infinity Catalyst, which was the last piece we were missing for the Infinity Sword. So, let's stick that in there. That way it's actually known so we can get more and don't have to go through the whole crafting step. And let's see, we need four Crystal Matrix ingots. I wish I would have put those into the EMC table. I guess I'll have to craft a couple of them up here real quick. And so with that, we have the Sword of the Cosmos. Ooh, that's actually a really pretty design on there. Let's stick it in there, that way we can get another if we lose it. You know what? Since we have this, I think I'm going to grab a few golden apples so we can get the rest of our stuff back. I think with that, we are all geared up. I did get Draconic Armor, which is what I'm wearing right now. So hopefully we will be able to get to our stuff. But given that armor with 90% damage reduction didn't stand a chance, we'll see. I just hope we don't die right away. All right, we're almost there. Let's eat one of our enchanted golden apples. Get our sword out. There it is. Our stuff is it? Whoa, I think we just got knocked back to the overworld or mining dimension. Which, that's a problem. Oh, not really. Yeah, we can actually mine stone someone with our hands on this one. Definitely doing a lot better if we can stop getting knocked back. I can't find our stuff. It says we have an old death marker here, but no thanks. We may have lost all of our gear. Oh, no, 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 I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. Yeah, that's... That's not the right one. I saw... Hey, Dad. Another chicken attack. Another knock back to the mining dimension. At least our armor seems to be doing okay. That's doing a lot better than the red matter armor. I am not seeing a single one of our... Items. Yeah, I don't see our chicken stick. Maybe this is the right one. Yes! Oop. Okay, we have our chicken stick again. I saw that we picked it up. So a brief bit of inventory management here. Get that out on our hotbar. Okay. Let's get back in there. Oh, we have a pickaxe now. This can go faster. Okay. I think we can do this now.
Got a shield down at least. So now we should be able to use our sword. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. It looks like we did some damage at least. Let's try that one again. We got our stuff back, and we're back in the relative safety of the Mayan dimension. So let's actually do the smart thing and put our Draconic gear back on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our Red Matter armor in our special storage that we don't lose upon death. Put most of our weapons in there. Take our laser gun and our sword, and let's hop back in there. You know, this fight would go a lot easier if we stopped getting kicked back to the mining dimension. Cosmos doesn't kill, so the Cosmos heals. Great. Well, on the plus side, we should be able to upgrade our armor now. I'm going to try and do one more attempt against the chicken before we do this, just to get our draconic armor back. That was instant, and kind of perfect timing, I guess, considering we just got our stuff back. So I guess I'm going to go upgrade our armor. Good thing we put the red matter armor into the EMC table. So we can just pull out a whole nother set of that. And I'm going to go upgrade that to gem. And then I'll be right back. All right, that should be everything for gem armor. So if we just make that up, now all we should need is 
a bunch of infinity, a bunch of neutronium, and we should be good. And let's start. Got boots, chest plate, helmet, and pants. And apparently we finished the extreme crafting chapter. So now that we have that made, let's go and equip that. Oh, that's night vision. Oh. Oh. That gives us flight. You know what? The smart thing to do, so we don't have to go through all of that again, is get it set in our EMC table. So, I've grabbed some golden apples. Let's see how this chicken can handle some, an opponent that can fly. Alright. We've obtained our stuff again. Somehow, we dropped it, and now we're back in the wrong dimension. This night vision is nice, though. Wow, we don't seem to be taking any damage from any of the attacks. And we basically took that laser head on. Chicken doesn't seem to be standing a chance now. Where did you go? There you are. Oh, you got a shield here. Oh. Well, I guess that was a lucky drop back here. Okay, new golden apple. Now that we can fly, we aren't getting sent back to the mine dimension as often. Well. That's over. We got a dragon heart, epic shader grab bag, and two chaos shards out of that. And a very, very open end. That was exhausting. Let's go home. So now that we have those chaos shards, we can finally make the chaotic core is what we need for the chaotic fusion injector. So we will let that charge up there. 
So while that crafts up, let's take a look at what we have left to gather in the book and gather the rest of what we need for the chaotic crafting core. Well, that's kind of interesting. I know we have a chaos shard right here in our inventory. It didn't give us the thing for killing the chaos chicken and getting the items. That's weird. So the other things we have are making advanced dislocator, these flux capacitors, mob grinder, and a stabilized mob spawner. Mob grinder is pretty simple. We need furnace, draconium ingot, and a core. So we can probably take care of that right now. But I'm not hearing the crafting injectors crackling. So we should probably check on that before we run off to go do something else. Ah, our chaotic core is done. Fortunately, we only need to do one of those, and now we can get all the rest that we need. Let's stick our chaos shard in, shard in there. I wonder if I pull it out of the table, maybe that'll trigger it. Huh. That didn't give us the achievement either. Something seems a little weird. But now we can finally upgrade our crafting fusion injectors to the max level. Just need to grab out a few diamonds and get that set up. Gonna split those up here real quick just because it's easier to put into the injectors that way. And I guess I'll be back once those are done. I'm gonna work on some of the other stuff on that page that I have saved here. And then I guess we'll figure out what we will do after that. Alright, so I got the rest of the stuff we need to craft. So all we have left on the Draconic page is the Stabilized Mob Spawner, which would mean we'd actually have to find a Mob Spawner. Oh, and the Chaos Shard thing, which doesn't seem to be redeeming. Don't know why. Project E, we have a few things. Yeah, I suppose we could make one of these. It probably wouldn't take us too long to gather all the stuff as well as getting the maximum amount of EMC and the transmutation table, as well as these EMC batteries is basically what these are. And books, looks like. Storage, we have a few things that we just haven't gotten around to making. Not too difficult, but we just haven't needed them, so we haven't made them. But I think with that, that will be it for today. I'm going to decorate up the floors of all three of our new rooms which that new EMC table will be very helpful for. And this armor is very sparkly, and I do like it. I don't particularly care for all the black in it, but the stellar pattern that's in the blue parts there, very pretty. I like it. But that is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and consider subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.